Took care of business. Did what he had to do. So he'll. I mean, he'll he'll open up with a statement, but uh, you know, fire away, whatever you guys have. Hey Ryan, first of all, congratulations on this big win. How do you feel so far? You know, this weight class 140. I know it's a catch weight of 143. Uh, and overall, Oscar's uh, dwarfed his power. Uh, I mean, his power was strong. I was really surprised about his chin. You know, in the first round, I was catching him clean, and he was just like, he looked like he was just eating him. I was like, damn, this dude, he could eat some shots. So I was like, the first, second round, I'm like, I think he's going to go by third. But then by third, he kept putting more pressure. So I was like, I got to try to stop his momentum somehow. Uh, but yeah, he, he was a tough fighter. I knew he was going to be tough. Um, everybody was saying, like, why would he take this fight? So, you know, now I got to get my credit where it's due. You know, I, I, I fought in there. I had a fight, you know, with some grit and then find, find a knockout. So I, I, think, I think I did good, you know, especially with my first fight with Derek. Ryan, you know, the seventh round, you kind of like uh, moved around the ring, used a little bit more of your angles. Was that something part of the strategic plan that maybe Derek told you in the corner going into that round? Oh, yeah, yeah. Derek, um, he, was, he was pretty adamant. Like, come on, man. Like, why aren't you using your legs? Like, he's going to open up. And I was like, okay, because I was trying to stay there and just kind of smother him to try to, you know, stop his attack and kind of soft soften him up a little bit because he was like – Overly aggressive, overly aggressive. I was like, let me just try to take some steam off his shot. Um, but then I'm like, oh, well, he keeps throwing, so I'm going to start moving again. And, and then I just started locking in with my trainer. And, yeah, he was right. It opened up a shot, uh, and he fell, he fell into a hook. Ryan, such, a, such a competitive, super lightweight division. When the perfect world, do we see you take on the winner between Regis and uh, Devin Haney? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I, I want to become a champion, so that's my goal. Uh, I don't know where Derek's at, but um, – yeah, however um, he sees fit on what that looks like. You know, I trust him. And, uh, yeah, whatever he wants. I, I want Rollies, to be honest. I mean, I feel like it's a fun fight. He's a, you know, aggressive, crazy dude. Lead up will be crazy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I, I want that, you know. I mean, he has a title, technically. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, what do you tell Rollie if he's watching Rollie? All right. Just, I don't know if you have a real injury or not, but he'll that shit. He'll let him beat your ass. Call us. <laughs> all right, so, um, that, first of all, that was hilarious. But um, I talked to you at the first press conference. I also asked you about uh, what, who would you rather fight, uh, Devin, T.O. And um, I think it would be a great idea if you kind of get Roley out of the way for a bigger unification with maybe a Devin or a T.O. Um, and I feel like you used a lot of different, you showed a lot of different tools today. I feel like no one's ever made you move that much. And for a second, we were a little worried. We thought maybe you were feeling his power. Um, tell us how you felt in there when you started using the movement, the openings you saw, and what uh, you felt brought the knockout. I mean, like I said, you know, in boxing, you're going to fight power punchers, you know, guys that move a lot. Like, like my last fight, you know, Tank was moving a lot. You got to be able to just, like, know what to do with these guys. So, like... In my mind, I was like, okay, this dude does, he does pack a punch. You know, he's a little, he's a lot slower than me, but every time he hits you, like, it feels like a rock. So I was like, uh, okay, we'll figure it out. Because I wasn't, I'm not worried about it. You know, I'll take a good shot. You know, I took a big uppercut, cut me a little bit for the first time. But, you know, like I said, if, if I want to be a champion, I got to go through moments. You know, I got to go through a little bit of adversity. You know, in my whole career, I didn't really have, ever any real adversity except I guess tank fight but for me like because I've been dedicated this camp this felt like a fight to me you know it felt like okay like I'm figuring out myself as a fighter and it felt good to be in the ring and I'm excited to man I'm excited to keep improving with Derek and I'm just so thankful for God and just what he did in my life and even on the hard years that I went through and you know I was lost for a long time I, I, I took so many steps backwards after COVID and just in life in general as a boxer, as a person, the way I treated people is like I lost a lot of myself. So I fought hard to get back to where I'm at now. You know, even in the tank fight, I wasn't there. But by the grace of God, you know, he, he never gave up on me. And I want to thank him for that in front of everybody. Right. You were using a bit more of a shoulder roll. Is that something you got from Derek? Derek told me never to do that. <laughs> He's like, don't do that shit. You ain't Mayweather. And I was like, he'll, he'll never admit that, but he did say that. Uh, now, where did that come from? Then? I just 
I was like, I, I was just doing it. Like, I was just like, all right, like, let me see if this works. It kind of did. Like, he really couldn't hit me for two or three rounds. Then he started figuring it out. And I'm like, ah, forget this. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm going to go back to being me. Ryan, uh, congratulations on the win, man. What was it like, you know, first time back in the ring, right six, since Tank, you know, kind of feeling shots again? Maybe just answering the questions for yourself, like, okay, I'm in a fight. And I'm not going to lie. This was scarier than Funny Tank. I'm not going to lie. He had a hard punch, like. His punch was hard. Like, every time I got him back, I don't ever complain. Mm -hmm. That dude hit me so hard in the back of the head because it don't look hard, but it is hard. So I was actually more worried in this fight than I was in Tank. With Tank, it was just like, all right, it's a boxing match. Like, he's moving around, whatever, boom, boom. But this fight, I was actually like, oh, shit. Like, damn, this dude <laughs> trying, to beat, trying to knock my ass out. Like, he has the power to knock you out. So I had to be very cautious. Right, Shakur, I talked to Shakur afterwards. And, you know, he wasn't impressed. He said you didn't really see anything that, that Derek did to improve your style. You know, um, just, what, who, what are you who Shakur? Who? Shakur. <laughs> nah, nah, uh, Shakira T Twitterson. Nah, but, like, for real, though, like, that was Edwin Santos' line. But, no, for real, so shout out Edwin. Um, you know, what, what can I say? Like, he broke a record for the least punches ever landed. In 12. Like, that, that's actually a hard thing to do. <laughs> the fact that he did that was crazy. So, you know, if he thinks that's good, it is what it is. Wait, didn't he break the record for putting people to sleep? Yeah, at home. <laughs> right. Right. At home, they turned that shit off after the first, fourth round. But that's the difference, though. Like, I fought a guy with power, but I didn't back down. Right. I started, I went right to him. Stood, Stood my ground, moved. I did it all. He only showed one thing, which was moving around, and his hand wasn't hurt. His coach was telling him to throw it. Let's stop that narrative right now. He just been a hater since the amateurs, for real. And I want to fight him. I, I will beat his ass. I promise you that. Like I've been in the ring with him. He's cool, mm -hmm. but he just he just all scared all the time. Scared, scared, scared. And a pro fight is not gonna work. Well, they were grooming him since the beginning. For sure. Brian, you, after the last fight, you kind of said you lost your competitive edge a little bit. I saw you after the win, go to one corner, say something to someone, go to the other side, say something to someone. So what do you feel now? That was just emotions. Like, yeah, I have it back. Like, that, that's that. Like, I take it personal. Because when I put my mind to it and my whole heart, I put my whole heart into it. Like, I, I, I went away from everybody. I didn't see nobody for four months straight just in Dallas in a little condo, and I was just looking at – the wall every day, just like praying to God, going to church, and just staying just as locked in as I can. So my emotions did come out because I finally, after a long time, gave everything I had to it. And, I'm, and that's what made me just explode. But, you know, it's going to just get better. You know, this is my first fight with Derek, so it's going to get better. Two more questions. Ryan, winning does a lot of healing. Uh, when can we see you back in action? I mean, I want to get back, you know, March or April or whatever as soon as, like, for me, in a, in activity, like, really cursed me. You know, I, you know, I've been boxing for, what, since I was 17 in pros, and I had, I don't know how many, you know, breaks, like a year, year and a half, like two year and a half, like, it's not going to, you're not going to become a better boxer that way. So, How do we get that done to get by back, you know, Ryan back in March? Is that possible? We'll work out. Yeah, it's very we'll possible. Get it done. Absolutely. It'll get done. He wants to fight. He wants to become world champion. He wants to stay busy. It's going to get done. Okay. Last question. Violin. Yeah. Hey, on. Ryan, you've been with, uh, with uh, Goosen, Reynoso, and Derek James. I think you finally found a home with Derek James. Uh, are you learning anything new from, from Derek compared to the other guys? Yeah, I feel like I found a home. You know, a home in Dallas, home with Derek. You know, I just think that, you know, we're, we're a great fit. And I'm just, you know, I'm just happy to be there. And I, I committed to it. And I know Derek, you know, believes in me. And I don't know. There ain't really nothing to say. It's just, like, I, I love it there. And now I'm, I'm ready to keep on training with him. Like, that's it. Like, he's a great trainer. And we have, we do, you know, we work so hard. So I just want to keep training with him and see where that goes. I'm all right. Like, he said I'm his last fighter. So we're going to try to take it all the way to the wheels fall off. Thank Ryan, you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you, guys. thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at 
Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.